Hi there. Many students will be looking as part of their course at the potential trade-offs between key macroeconomic objectives, two of which are the rate of unemployment and the rate of consumer price inflation. One of the theoretical aspects students will explore is the Phillips curve. We won't go through the Phillips curve theory in this short video, but what we will look at is some of the unemployment and inflation data for the UK to give you some useful contextual evidence. So this chart shows the annual change in consumer prices, the rate of inflation shown in orange, and the rate of unemployment, which is always expressed as the percentage of the labour force. Between 1991 and 1993, the UK economy was going through a difficult time. The rate of unemployment was increasing above 10%, whilst inflation was falling back, uh, back from about 7% down to 2%. So there we seem to have a classic short run Phillips curve situation with rising unemployment leading to a deceleration in the rate of change of prices. Another period of interest is from 1995 through to 2000. In this period of time, the rate of unemployment was falling, albeit from a high level, and so too was inflation. The rate of inflation was falling from a 2% to below. So it's possible to have falling unemployment and falling inflation. Again, something the standard short run Phillips curve doesn't suggest. Another interesting period from my point of view is the period from 2004 through to 2008. This was a strong time for the British economy. There was a boom in real GDP. Unemployment had reached a low level of around 5%, was edging up slightly, but the rate of inflation was also accelerating. So you had a period of rising inflation and relatively stable unemployment. Then, of course, we get the global financial crisis, the difficult days of 2009 and into, into the current decade. 2010, 2011 were uh, years where the macroeconomic objectives were not moving in a favourable direction for the UK. Unemployment was heading north again towards 8% of the labour force and inflation, particularly as you can see in 2011, was more than twice the government's target at 4.5%. Now, in recent times, the data has moved again more favourably for the UK. Indeed, from 2012 through to 2015, both unemployment and inflation falling significantly. The rate of unemployment now is below 5%. Inflation in the UK 2015 was as close as zero as makes no difference. Indeed, the fear there was deflation. Inflation picked up to above 1% in 2016 uh, and is likely to rise further but keep in mind it's still below the 2% target. So hopefully you can see from this look at the data that there's no obvious, simple, predictable inverse relationship between the rate of unemployment and the rate of inflation. Indeed, the UK economy is an open country susceptible to all kinds of external economic shocks and influences. So the rate of unemployment consistent with a given inflation rate is likely to be changing quite regularly. The Phillips curve is an interesting short run idea. It's important to, be under, to, to understand it and also what causes the curve to shift. But the data for the UK suggests that a stable, predictable Phillips curve relationship is something that belongs mainly to the textbooks.